maybe Act One Beginners is what we'll get. What do you think? Oh, Dottie will pull herself together now that we've called Beginners. Now she knows she's got to be on stage in five minutes. Won't she? Will she? You know what Dottie's like. We've only been on the road for a month. We've only got to Ashton under line. What's it going to be like by the time we put the stumpkin on teeth? If only she'd speak. If only she'd unlock her dressing room door. Look, if Dottie won't go on. Won't go on? If she won't. She will. Of course she will. Won't she? I'm sure she will. But if she doesn't. She must. She will. She will. But if she doesn't. I'd have five minutes to change. Uh. Four minutes! Uh, if only she'd say something. <laughs> I'll have another go. It takes your mind off your own problems anyway. Oh, what? Oh. Has she gone? Oh, Lloyd, I didn't know you were coming in today. I wasn't, I had to. Anyway, thank God you're here. I'm not, I'm an Aberyst with. I'm in the middle of rehearsing Richard III. Dottie and Gary. I don't want anyone to know I'm in. No, but Dottie and Gary. I just want two hours alone and undisturbed with Brooke in a dressing room between shows, then I'm on the 720 back to Wales. This is for Brooke, put it somewhere safe, Make sure Selsden doesn't get his hands on it. Right. They've had some kind of row. Good, good. There's a little flower shop across the road from the backstage door. I want you to buy me some very large and expensive looking flowers. Right. And she's locked herself in a dressing room. And not for Poppy. Don't let Poppy see them. No. And she won't speak to anyone. Let's see. First house finishes after five, yes? Second house starts at 7.30? Lloyd, that's what I'm trying to tell you. There might not be a show. You've already called beginners? Yes. She's locked herself in a dressing room and she won't speak to anyone. I can't play a complete love scene from cold in five minutes. It's not dramatically possible. She's had bust-ups with Gary before. Of course. Brooks had bust-ups with Gary? Brooke? No, no, Brooke Dottie. Oh, Dottie, right. There was the famous bust-up the week before last when we were playing workshop. Right, you told me on the phone. She went out with that journalist bloke. Yes, yes, yes. But you know, Gary threatened to kill him. Right, threatened to kill him, I know. Don't worry about Dottie, she's got money in the show. Right, but now it's happened again. Two o'clock this morning, I'm woken up by a great banging on the door. It's Gary, and he asks me, do you know where Dottie is? She hasn't, you know, come home. Tim, let me tell you something about my life. I have the Duke of Buckingham on the phone to me for an hour every evening complaining that the Duke of Gloucester is sucking boiled sweets for his speeches. The Duke of Clarence is off the entire week doing a commercial for Madeira. Richard himself, would you believe Richard III, has come down with a back problem. I keep getting messages from Brooke that she's very unhappy here, and now she's got herself a doctor's certificate for nervous exhaustion. She's going to walk. I don't have time to find or rehearse another Vicky. I have just one afternoon while Richard is fitted for a surgical corset to fix Brooke of a nervous exhaustion with no medical aid except a little whiskey. You've got the whiskey. And if you've got, you've got the money for the flowers. So I haven't come here to listen to other people's problems. I came here to be taken out of myself and preferably not put back again. Yes, but Lloyd! Have you done the front of the house calls? <gasps> oh, the front of house calls. And oh. don't let Poppy see those flowers. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in three minutes. We're going to be up so late. No luck. Oh, Belinda's having a go. I haven't even started the front of house calls yet. Uh, Money? What's that for? Oh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Whiskey? Oh, is it? Where did you find that? Well... What, up here? You mean sells in time and the stage now? Oh. I'm going to hide it in the ladies' room. At least you won't go in there. Oh, no. Oh, no, you know what Dottie's like when she's like this? Freddie's trying now. Oh, no. He's hiding around the stage now. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, well, you didn't try for very long, my sweet. No, but... Oh dear. He's hiding them around stage now. <laughs> now, Gary came bursting out of his dressing room in some great state. I couldn't quite understand what he was saying. I, I often feel with Gary like I'm missing something somehow. <laughs> you know how stupid I am about that sort of thing, but I think he said he wanted to kill me. Oh, my poor sweet. I, I thought I'd leave him to it. I don't want to make things worse. He's all right, is he? Gary, or anything but by the sound of it. I mean, he's going on. Gary? Gary's going on. Of course Gary's going on. What's all this about Gary not going on? Yes, because if you go on for Gary, Papa can't go on for Dolly. So if Papa goes on for Dolly, you've got to be on the book. Oh, this is getting farcical. Money? Money? You're waving money around. Oh, oh, that's for... Oh. Uh, she is a funny woman, you know, Dolly. So up and down. She was perfectly all right last night. Last night? Yeah, she took me out for a drink after the show. There's some clubs she knows about. She was with you? 
You were with her? Oh, she was perfectly sympathetic about all my troubles. Oh, she won't seek her teeth into you. I won't let her. Oh, no, she couldn't have been nicer. In fact, she came back to my digs afterwards, told me about all her troubles. <laughs> we sat there till like three o'clock in the morning. Don't know what the landlady must have thought. Oh, it's another thing. Nothing else was my It turns out Freddie is the problem. Something. He's not in his dressing room. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh. The front of house calls. Oh. You do the front of house calls. Freddie, you stay here. You do absolutely nothing. What? You've done quite enough already. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in three minutes. He's going to kill someone. Stelson wants to kill someone. Oh, Gary. Oh. Gary. Stelson. We lost. Oh, not again! Uh, the flowers! Oh, they're for, you know, oh, uh... Oh, Tim, that's <laughs> really sweet of you! Oh, isn't that sweet of him? That's very charming! Oh, <laughs> I'll just go look in the pub. Hold me! Oh, God! I'll take those. Oh, the front of house calls. All these. I think Poppy's already done them. Well, she gave him two minutes, right? Well, I'll give him one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in one minute. Uh, uh, dear, I, I think she said uh, three minutes. Three minutes? I said three minutes. She said three minutes. I, I think so. Uh, hold these. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in two minutes. Any luck? I found yet another part. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. Hidden in the ladies' lavatory, would you believe? Oh, good lord. Oxfam, I'll give it to Oxfam. <laughs> He's not in the pub. Oh, he's hanging around ladies' lavatories. All right, better get the spare gear on. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in two minutes. Oh, dear, I think Tim told him two minutes. What? He's done two minutes? Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in one minute. What the fuck is going on? Oh, my God. I'm not. I'm at the Abbey Iswith Festival, but I can't stand out there and listen to two minutes, three minutes, one minute, two minutes. Oh, we're having great dramas in the dressing rooms. We're having great dramas out there. This is the matinee, honey. There's old age pensioners out there. The curtain will rise in three minutes. We all stop for the gents. The curtain will rise in one minute. We all come running out again. We don't know which way we're going. Lloyd, I've got to have a talk with you. Of course, honey. Of course. Looking forward to it. You've got my message. Many, many messages. Well, why didn't you answer? Well, I did. I have. I'm here. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. Well, go on, then. Well, <clears throat> I went to the doctor today, and I was so oh. nervous. Of... Oh, Later. another one? Later, yes. In my dressing room. In your dressing room? This is getting completely out of control. Yes, well, I'll give it to Oxfam with the other one. I'll do it, thank you. Lloyd. Lloyd. Got it in one. You got my message. And came running, honey, and came running. Lloyd, we've got to have a talk. Oh, uh, we're going to have a talk, my love. When? Later. Yes, later. Flowers? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tim bought them for me. Tim bought them for you? To cheer me up. Lloyd, I've really got to tell you something. Nothing more, just for the moment. Thank you. Strangle Tim for me when you see him, will you? Right. What about Dolly? I don't want to hear about Dolly. And Gary? Not about Gary either. What about Selston? Listen, I think this show is beyond the help of a director. I'm just going to sit out there in the dark with a big bag of toffees and enjoy it, okay? <laughs> One minute was the last call if your memory goes back that far. Lloyd, wait! Excuse me! Oh, I've got to have a talk with him! The girls, girls! Oh, I've got a good mind to put on my coat and walk out that door right here and now. Well, if you don't feel up to performing, I'm sure Poppy would be happy to have a bash on your behalf. I beg your pardon, honestly! Uh, sit down and do your meditation. Oh, Poppy, do the calls. Ready? Uh, 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 what? Why did I say something wrong? <laughs> Where's Tim? Oh. Susan, where have you been? We've been looking everywhere right? for you. Right. Oh. Oh. Yes, everywhere. In front, in the manager's office, in the bar. Not a sign of him. He's been in the dressing room looking for you. That's right. Great shindig going on back there. Oh, he really went for it. I know when you've got your eye on someone. Oh, Dolly's got her eye on someone, has she? I've seen you creeping off into corners with that poor halfwit. Which poor halfwit? Oh, never mind. Not Tim. No, no, 
now. Well, who else is there apart from me? I think they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, I knew they wouldn't. And you're here. Why, oh, yes, every word. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The performance is about to begin. They're coming. <laughs> and we found cells. Uh, how did you get here? Here, through the walls. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The performing is no, about to begin. No, I've done it! I've done it! It's done it! I'm about to begin! Yeah, about to begin! About to begin! Is about to. Is about to begin at any moment. Oh. Poor Lord, he'll choke on his toffees. No, the walls are very thin, you see. Oh, I'm absolutely sick to death of it. That's what she says. Am I setting a bit of a trend here? Understanding the person, my love. Oh, very timely here for Gary, yes. Oh, you tried to give some poor devil a leg up, she says. Gary, oh, my precious. And here he is. Are you all right? What's he say? He's not saying anything, my love. Well, very sensible, only stir things up again. I saw you giving him little nods and smiles. That's what he kept saying. Dorothy, my love. Oh, she's emerged. Uh, come on, old girl, you're on. Is are you all right? How is she? She's fine. All right, everyone. Cutting up. Oh, um, listen, Shorty. Uh, listen, Gary. I don't want to make a great speech here, but we do all have to go out there and put on a performance together. And we so can't do it in silence. We're going to have to speak with one another. What's the house like? That's the <laughs> spirit. Well done, Dotty. It's quite good. Well, for a matinee. And there's quite a crowd at the front of the back stalls. Come on, girl. Get the tabs up. Some of those OAPs out there haven't got long to go. Right then, quietly. I'd like to just say one more word. Hold on a moment, Poppy. Let me say just one word. Sardines. <laughs> Sardines. Sardines. <laughs> Standing by, he's a key Now ball. what? We're just going up. We've been sitting out there for an hour. An hour. They've gone quiet. They think someone's died. I'm sorry, Lloyd. It's my fault. I wanted to say a few words to everyone. Have you ever thought of having a brain transplant? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wrong time. I see that. Does anyone else have any of the thoughts they feel they must communicate? Well, not right now, of course. What? Well, I mean, you know, later. Bought those flowers for Poppy. No? Well, yes. <laughs> and you didn't buy any flowers for me? No. Well... No. Tim, you ever heard of Jealous Rage? Yes. Well, yes. Well then, Tim, don't take ten pounds of your own money and buy some flowers for me. But Lloyd, I've got to run the show. Never mind the show. Concentrate on the flower arrangements. Bought those flowers from Poppy. You two could have Freddie's old brain. You could have half each. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Poppy, my love. Just get this old butt on the road. Standing by, he lets stand by. Christ! Quiet backstage! Hush that! Music Q1, go, time going on.
And curtain, perhaps. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the old fish market theater Lowestoft. Oh, or rather, the municipal theater Stockton on Tees for tonight's performance of Nothing On. We apologize for the slight delay in starting tonight, which is due to circumstances. Hands off, Freddy, all right? You're the one who's trying to get a hand on Freddy. Due to circumstances. You don't own him, no. That are beyond our control. And we would kindly ask that you bear with us a minute while we deal with her. With them. <laughs> with the circumstances. I should perhaps say with tonight's performance of the play, our long and highly successful tour. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the delay in starting tonight, which is due to circumstances Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> which have now been brought under control. Our long and highly successful tour is on its very last legs. <laughs> its very last leg. <laughs> Thank you for your... Thank you for your... Cooperation and, and understanding. I sincerely trust... I sincerely trust that there will be no other hiccups. No other hold-ups. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please... Sit back and enjoy the remains of the evening. <laughs> in the lion's cage at the zoo. <laughs> oh, no, she's in Spain too. They're all in Spain. Am I in Spain? No, dear, I'm not in Spain. I'll look after the house for them. But I go home at one o'clock on a Wednesday, only I've got a nice plate of sardines here, because it's the royal, what's it called on the telly? The royal, um, Wait a minute, where's the paper? And if it's about letting the house... <laughs> you'll have to call the agents, because they're the agents for the house. Oh, Squire, Squire, Hackham, and who's the other one then? No, they're not in Spain. They're just a bit squashed. <laughs> Squire, Squire, Hackham and... Hold on. Don't go away. I'm going to do something wrong here. <laughs> it's always the same, isn't it? One minute your plate's full and the next minute... They've gone again. Keep 
but yes, but this is her afternoon off, so we've got the place entirely to ourselves. <laughs> I'll just check. Uh, hello, anyone at home? No, there's no one here, so what do you think? Great, and this is all yours? Oh, just a little shack in the woods, really. <laughs> uh, converted posset mill, 16th century. It must have cost a bomb. Well, one has to have somewhere to entertain one's business associates. Uh, someone on the phone now, by the look of it. Uh, it's probably this, uh, this, you know, this Arab saying he wants to come at four, so I'll just have a word with him and... Uh, right, and I've got to get those files to our Basingstoke office by four. Yes, we'll only just pick it in. I mean, we'll only just fit it up. I mean... Right then. Uh, well, we won't bother to pull the champagne. All these doors! Oh, only a handful, really. A study, kitchen, and a self-contained service flat for the... <coughs> receiver. Terrific. And which one's the... What? You know. Oh, uh, the usual offices are through here. Fantastic. Now I've lost the sardines. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought there was no one here. I'm not here. <laughs> I've lost the phone. Uh, I'm from the agents. I've lost the phone now. Esquire, Esquire, Hackham and Dudley. I've never lost the phone before. <laughs> I'm Tramplemain. Uh, I'll put it on here, look, if anyone wants it. Oh, right, thanks. Uh, no, I, I just dropped in to go into a few things. Uh, well, check some of the measurements uh, to do one or two odd jobs. And, uh, and the client, I'm showing a prospective tenant over the house. What's wrong with this door? Uh, she's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That's not the bedroom. The bedroom? No, no. That's the, uh, uh, that's the uh, downstairs bathroom and WC suite. Uh, and this is... Oh, oh. Uh, sardines, dear, sardines. Uh, oh, hi. She, she's not really here. No, uh, but you should not have stepped in them, dear. Uh, don't worry about us. No, then all go stepping in them now. Uh, we, we'll just inspect the house. I think I'd better give the floor a wash. Uh, I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? The, the television? Oh, right, the, the television, because she didn't explain about wanting to watch this uh, royal, you know, uh, because of, well, obviously there's been this thing with the, uh, uh, you know, just in case anyone's, you know, looking at all this and thinking, my God. Great. Come on then. I've got to be in Basingstoke by four. Uh, I'm sorry, love. I thought we ought to get that straight. We'll take it up with us. Where are we? And don't let my files out of sight. Uh, hold on, we, we got out of the... What? What? Her. Her? Oh, right, right, her. Because she has been in the family for generations. Sardines, sardines. It's not for me to say, dear, but I will just say this. If I was you, I'd take the plan. Oh, correct. And if he needs it, if he wants it, he won't know where to find it. <laughs> Terrific. Sardines, sardines. You'll have to do the sardines, because I've got to go into the kitchen and make some more sardines. <laughs> you see, she thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. Well. I think she's terrific. Terrific. So which way? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe sort of parcel them up and, and then I'll do the... Up here? Down here? In here? Oh, all right, I'll, I'll do the... And then and then you do the... It's another bathroom. Well, take the box upstairs and take the bag. Always trying to get me into bathrooms. Bag, box. Oh, that sheet. Well, take the, take the, take the, take the... Oh, you're in a room. You can't even get the door. Uh, <laughs> no, it's Mrs. Clack, it's often enough, remember? We've got the place. <laughs> Entire. 
entirely to ourselves. Oh. Home, sweet home. Dear old house. Just waiting for us to come back. But how odd to find a telephone in the garden. <laughs> I'll put it back. I thought I'd better bring it in. Oh, very sensible. Someone's but... bound to want it. Oh. oh, dear. Why don't you put it back on the table? Oh, well, the wire seems to be caught. Oh, look, it's caught around the downstairs bathroom. Oh, yes, so it is. I think I've disentangled it. Look, I just climbed through the bathroom window. <laughs> It's rather funny, though, creeping in here like this for our wedding anniversary. Yes, it's, it's damn serious. If, uh, because if Inland Revenue finds out we're in the country, even for one night. Sorry, yes, because if, if Inland Revenue finds out we're in the country. Country? Even for one night. Even for one night. Ben will <laughs> want them to be residents abroad. Oh. Then goes most of this year's income. Most of this year's income. Absolutely, yes. I, I, uh, I think I'd better go have a little lie down. A lie down? Oh. Oh, uh, why not? No children? No friends dropping in? We're absolutely on our own. <laughs> Leave those. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Downstairs, not upstairs? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Oh. There's something to be said about being a tax exile. <laughs> what? Inland Revenue might hear us. <laughs> yeah, I just Is this newspaper? I thought you was in Sardinia. We are, we are. <laughs> the important thing is the income tax are after us. Nice little package of sardines someone's left here. And if anyone asks, you haven't seen us. You haven't seen nothing. Just waiting for anything. me to sit on. <sighs> Oh, I'll just go get a couple of And off she goes without waiting to hear what I've done with his letters. <laughs> his letters? Letters? What letters? You forward all the mail, don't you? Not parcels from Sardinia. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what I do with packages from Sardinia. I'll put them in the pigeon house. In the pigeon house? Yes, in the little pigeon house. <laughs> People's boxes. But there's no one here. Uh, but darling, I saw the door handle move and, and these, these bags, I'm not sure they were, you know, when we went into the, you know what I mean? I still don't see why you've got to put your tie on to look. Well, because if someone left these things outside the, I mean, come on, they obviously want them downstairs inside the, you know. Mrs. Corkett. Could be. Uh, coming up here on her way to, uh, well, carrying various, uh, uh, who knows? Oh, look, she's opened our sardines. Come back. What? You can't, I'll fetch them. You can't go downstairs like that. Why not? Mrs. Crackett. Mrs. Crackett? One has certain obligations. Sardines here. Sardines there. It's like the Battle of Waterloo out there. Oh, you're still here, are you? Yeah, still here. Thank you, you're well. Still pulling. <laughs> the good thing I can't see with this leg. Well, yes, just uh, checking all the doors, uh, trying all the door handles. <laughs> Mrs. Blackett. Blackett, dear, Blackett. Mrs. Blackett. Is there anyone else in the house, Mrs. Claggett? No, dear, there's no one in the house. Well, I thought I had a box. I mean, I, I, I thought I found these voices. No, there's no voices here, dear. No, I must have imagined it. Well, good Lord above! I beg your pardon? Oh, 
Good Lord above. Oh! Oh! Why, what is it? The study door's open. Uh, well, oh, uh, they're, they're going to want these in, inside the, you, you know, so I'll just put them outside the, and then they can have them in the, you know what I mean? Notice, steps will be taken <laughs> to straight proceedings in court. Who are you? I'm Philip. You're Philip? What's happened? Well, it's all got a bit slippery out on the stairs there. Oh, you haven't done himself an injury, have you? No, he's just a bit shaken. I'll be all right in a minute. You weren't going to tell me a gentleman had come about the house, were you? What? You weren't going to tell me a gentleman had come about the house, were you? Oh, yes, a gentleman had come about the house. Don't tell me I'm not here. All right, then. I'll just sit down and turn on the and sardines. I've forgotten the sardines. No, I haven't. I've remembered the sardines. <laughs> just have to go into the kitchen and make some more sardines <laughs> to celebrate. I didn't get this. I'm not here. I'm in Spain. And if I didn't get it, I didn't open it. Darling, I've never had a handle like this, have I? Didn't you? i never buy anything as brassy as this. I should never have touched it. Lovely. This is something you gave me. Stick it down, put it back, never saw it. Oh, I'll just put it in the attic in case anyone else wants to have a try. All right, all right. Well, now the study door's open again. What's going on? Knocking? Upstairs. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Uh, uh, listen, listen, uh, I can't. is in there. Uh, can you hear me, darling? We can't just keep banging like that. There's nothing I can... I mean, there's nowhere to put the... Uh, uh, all right, listen, you just have to climb round the... Uh, and then squeeze through the, you know, uh, and then shin down, maybe the... And then uh, uh, there's got to be some way. Well, for pity's sake. Final notice. Steps will be taken, distraint, and proceedings in court. Oh, it's you. Of course it's me. You put me in here in the dark with all black sheets and things. I put you in there, but somehow you managed to squeeze through the, you know. Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? I couldn't. Look, look, it's come off. Someone locked the door. I'm sorry. Out. Okay, I'll take it off. Oh, in here, in here. Final notice. <laughs> Steps will be taken to straight and proceedings in court. Now what? A uh, uh, hot water box. I didn't put it there. I didn't put it there. <laughs> Someone in the bathroom filling first aid bottles. Sorry. You don't put this on. Imagine anything creepy would survive oil-fired central heating and... Uh, what? 
What is it? What's happening? The sardines, they've gone. No, they haven't. <laughs> there they are. Oh, well, my God, I mean, my God. You put a plate of sardines down for two minutes and that last thing you expect. I mean, these days, the one thing you don't expect to find when you come back is a plate of, I mean, that's really weird. Perhaps there is something funny going on. I'm going to get into bed and put my head... Well, because there they are. No, they're not. <laughs> Bag! Uh, perhaps Mrs. Sprocket came in. But what is going on? Bag! Bag? Bag? Bag! What do you mean, bag, bag? <laughs> Sardines! Bag, bag, bag! Sardines, sardines! Bag, bag, bag! Bag, what bag? <gasps> no bag! for all this. I'll fetch Mrs. Sprotchett. She'll tell us what's happening. You fetch me. I'm here. <laughs> I fetch Mrs. Sprotchett. She'll tell us what's happening. She won't, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what's happening. Uh, there's a man in there. Yes? No, love. He's not in there. Oh. He's in here. Look, and so am I. No, there's no one in the house, love. <laughs> yes? <laughs> I know it's a great surprise to all of us. I mean, it's quite a shock. Finding a man lying at the bottom of the stairs, isn't it? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But now that we've all met, I think we just have to be, we'll just have to introduce each other. Oh, won't we don't introduce each other, certainly. Oh dear. Oh, this is my husband. I'm afraid surprises go straight to his nose. There's a man lurking in the undergrowth. Oh, how delightful! Another unexpected guest. Oh. Why don't you go out in the garden and see what there is to see? And darling, why don't you get that bottle of our poison downstairs too? That he's through anything. Yes, he's through anything right yet. Thank you. Thank you. I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. No bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. Come in, dear. Join the party. <laughs> This is most exciting. Yeah, this is all my fault because when I say I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous, and then I open this door, <laughs> no bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. No, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. Yeah, it's getting like a funeral in here. When I think I used to do banks. Keep going. When well, I, I remember, remember I used to do bullion balls. What, what am, am I, I doing, doing now? now? I'm breaking, breaking into, into paper, paper bags. bags. Just keep going. Stop. No, no. Uh, I, I thought the coast was clear, you see. I saw him going out to the bathroom. No, it's fine. Go on, we'll figure something out. Oh, I was listening very carefully. What is he said? I've um, heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. And then he opens that door. No bars, no burglar alarms. <laughs> they ought to be prosecuted for they always come in threes. <laughs> when, when I think I used to do banks, when, when I remember I used to do bullion balls. Hold on. Hold on a minute. This man's not a burglar. We know this man. He's our social. 
social worker. <laughs> He's what? He's that nice man who comes in and tells us what to do. What, what to do? What, what to do? do? What's he saying? He's saying, he's saying, just get through it for doors and sardines. Uh, doors. That's what it's all about. Doors and sardines. Uh, doors and sardines. Doors, doors and sardines. He's saying, he's saying, phones and police. Phones and police. The phones, please. He's saying, bags and boxes. Bags, bags and, and boxes. boxes. He's saying, sheets, sheets. He's saying, sheets, sheets, sheets. 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 He's saying, all we want now is a nice, happy ending. And here she comes in her wedding dress. <laughs> yes, yes, it's their wedding day. It's their wedding day. Oh. Oh. What a nice, happy ending. Do you take this sheet to be your lawful wedded wife? <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your peace. What's he saying? What's he saying? He's saying last line, last line. Last line? Right. When everything is quiet and uncertain. There's nothing like a good old-fashioned plate of... Sir. 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 Sir.